Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar from Chicago, Integrated Movement Specialist. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to talk about a topic we're really passionate about here, and that's exercise. And we get a lot of questions from our clients and patients about exercises. Why should I do this exercise? Why don't you guys let me do these exercises? What about these exercises that my trainer has me doing? Or these exercises that I've seen on TV? So again, we're going to talk briefly in this video about it, and then Dr. Bill will follow up with additional exercise instructions and recommendations in the next video, and then Sarah will follow up in a couple editions and talk about exercises specific to women that have had C-sections, hysterectomies, and any abdominal surgery that really affects their ability to stabilize their core. So today I want to talk about a couple things around exercise. One in particular is, can I do exercises like running and biking and exercises like, like repetitive activities like that that create a lot of calorie burning, for example, or get me physically active, or are just fun to do. And we always say, absolutely, if you like to do exercise, please do it. Here's a caveat though. One of my colleagues and good friends, Diane Lee, who's an expert on pelvic girdle pain, pelvic girdle stability, and she's in touch with all the researchers around the world that deal with low back pain, she said one thing during one of our seminars to the class, and she said, you have to be in shape to run, you can't run to get in shape. And that's so, so true. Too many people say, I'm going to run to get in shape, I'm going to ride my bike to get in shape, I'm going to rollerblade to get in shape. And, it, and we're not discouraging you from doing these activities, but you have to, what we call, earn the right. When, what, what do we mean by earn the right? One thing we, we mean by earn the right is, when we think about a child, a child never just comes from being born to lying on their back to standing up and running. They earn the right. They roll over. They crawl. They pull themselves up to half kneeling. Then they stand up. So they go through the sequences, the proper sequences, and the progressive sequences to get them the stability to get them to be able to stand up and then walk and then eventually run. Too many of us, because of injuries, surgeries, traumas, lack of activity, and too much seated posture, we develop postural movement habits that create instability in our body. And recall that tightness is actually our body's compensation and guarding against instability. If we just try to run and we haven't conditioned ourselves to run, we will break down and get injured. And that's why we see so many running injuries in our office. Similar with, same thing with biking. So, so many, too many of our clients, or many of our clients I should say, will bike. And biking is a great exercise. I love biking. However, many of our clients sit all day long. And we go home from work, we do a little more sitting. And then before we go to bed, we do a little more sitting. And we sit going to work. So our life is spent sitting. And then we jump on an exercise bike to do exercise. And we're doing more sitting. It creates a lot of overload on our spines, puts us in a bad posture, and creates some, or it perpetuates some of these movement habits that we have. So again, I'm not discouraging you from riding your bike. Please keep riding your bike. But make sure you're doing some activities to offset the seated posture. That's why we do exercises like cobras in the sphinx position, where we're sort of go up on our elbows. That's why we do breathing and core stabilization to teach our clients and teach you guys how to stabilize your core and align your pelvis so when you're on your bike, you understand how to move your hips, how to get your spine in a long position. So again, a lot of these exercises and positions are designed to help you perform your exercises better. So it's so important, again, that we earn the right to do these exercises. Don't stop doing your exercises. Just do the corrective things that you need to do to do your exercises and be active and stay healthy and hopefully prevent injuries along the way. In the following videos, we'll talk about more of the specific things you can do, but for right now, just think about earning the right. Do your breathing. Think about your posture. Do your core activation. And even though some of these exercises may seem simple, some of them may seem like, I don't know why I'm doing these exercises, keep doing them. Trust the fact that they're helping you improve posture improve how you're breathing, improve how you're stabilizing so that you can continue to do the exercises and activities you love to do. This is Dr. Evan Osar. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time with more tips to help you get more effectiveness out of your exercises.